Hey dolls! So today I have a $1 makeup haul for you guys. Everything in this video with the exception of one eyeshadow palette I believe is only $1 on shopmissa.com. You guys have suggested I do one of these videos. I did one a long time ago. They were actually one of the first companies I ever worked with and made a video for on my channel so that is really cool but today I am showing you guys I think my total was $35 total so I'm gonna go through and show you guys everything that they sent me for that amount of money all right so the one thing that was $10 was this palette right here this is the love child palette um, but the reason it is $10 is because it comes with nine individual little eyeshadows and it has a magnetic backing so all of the eyeshadows came in this package separately so I do have to go through and cut all these out open them all up and put them in the palette myself but they, it does come with nine shadows so it's almost as if you're paying a dollar a shadow which is pretty dang good if the formula is pretty good so I'm gonna go unpackage all of this and do all of this off camera and I will be right back to show you what this palette looks like all together okay so I put all of the palettes or all of the shadows in the palette and here is what it looks like this is by no means the same setup that was on the website as far as I know I didn't set it up the exact same way but you can see here are the shades. I have not swatched any, so I'm about to do that. I am super stoked about this shade right here. It is like crazy, like sparkly and such. And I also love this a burnt like red copper shade and the purples are obviously beautiful as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the one that I'm super interested in. Oh wow, okay. It's kind of like super iridescent. Let's see if my camera will focus and pick it up. It's actually really pretty. I didn't swatch it, like I didn't dig too deep into the um, formula and it's actually pretty pigmented. So I'm actually gonna just rub my fingers in a couple more of these so you can see they're actually not bad quality again that is just finger swatch so I really don't know how they're going to translate onto the eyes but they come off pretty pigmented on fingers so that is awesome so again that is the love child palette now uh, keeping on the track of eyes I got three of these ADA Studio Wonder Baked Eyeshadows. These were each a dollar. Everything else in this video is going to be only a dollar each. And these are baked eyeshadows and they are quite bigger than the ones in the palette which you will see. But these are very beautiful. They're like kind of shimmery. I'll go ahead and... Oh yeah, they're actually pretty pigmented. That's nice. I figured that I could use these as highlighters as well. Um, especially this light pink one. It'll be beautiful on like the inner corner, my cheekbones, things like that. So I got this pink one um, in the shade Poetic. I got this purple one in the shade Regal, which I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. It's beautiful as well. Not too crazy pigmented. I like that it's sheer because like I said, I can use it as highlight, which is awesome. And then this last shade, which is in the sh shade Seashell. Oh, say that 500 times fast. This is a beautiful kind of like, it's not as pink as the poetic shade, but it is more of like a peachy nude color. And again, this will be beautiful as just a highlighter as well. So these are multifunctional, multi-purpose. You can use them for your eyeballs and your cheeks. So that is great. And then along the lines of cheeks, I don't think I got any actual highlight because I had intended to use those baked eyeshadows as a highlight. So I did get a blush and I got this Lumi Radiant blush in the shade Frantic Pink and it just looks like this. It got a little bit beat up in shipping, not too bad. Um, let's see what she looks like. Oh yeah, that's actually really pretty. This is more of like a highlight blush rather than Oh, actually it has quite a bit of pigment to it. I'm like swiping it on my leg after I swatch it just to see how it blends out. And it's actually really nice. So I do like that a lot. 
And then I also got two more blushes. This one reminded me of the Milani blushes that have like the rose stamped into them. You can see it looks very similar. This is the Malibu Glitz blush in the shade Rosy Flush number one. And ooh, she feels smooth. I really like this one. It feels so soft. Um, a lot of the times when I find um, makeup like from Dollar Tree and stuff like that, it's really chalky and it doesn't blend very well, but this one is really smooth and I'm very, I'm very pleased with the formula of this one so far, so I'm excited to try that out. Then I lastly got this Princessa matte blush and this is in the shade, shade, shade. I don't see a shade on here. It says item number PR303B. I don't know the exact shade on this, but it is just a super hot Barbie pink. I have high, high hopes for this one. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna find a cleanish finger here. And she feels a little bit more chalky, but she is definitely pigmented. Look at her, very pigmented. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, she's very pigmented. <gasps> she blends nice too. Okay, she's a little bit chalky, but she's very pigmented. So A plus for that. Okay, so those are the blushes that I got. Now moving on to other face things. I've got a finishing pressed powder, and this is in the shade Porcelain. This is from AOA Studio. It's just a basic setting powder, just pressed. So I'm not gonna swatch that because you probably won't even be able to see it on me anyway. And then I got a, this is the Zuri Flawless Pressed Powder, and this is in a much darker shade, in the shade Newt, I think that is how that is pronounced, Newt. Um, but I got this so I could use it as a contour and this one is actually really cool because it has the uh, product right here and then you flip this open and it has the mirror and this little goofy sponge thing. I rarely use the ones that come with this but this one actually feels really cool. I really like the feeling of this one. I do prefer to use sponges like this to apply my um, pressed powder like under my eyes and such. Also, I really love beauty blenders. Usually when I use these to apply the pressed powder to set my under eyes, I will fold them in half like this and use this little corner to really get in there under my eye just like that to really bake my face. So that's cool that it came with one of those little throwaway sponges that I can just use a few times and then toss. Um, and I did get some of those sponges separately, which I'll get to in a little bit. So there is that. And then I did get two contouring sticks. So I got this little one right here. This is in the shade Fawn. And it is just a smaller, shorter, stubby guy. And you just twist it to push it up. We're gonna swatch her. Oh yeah, this is actually gonna be perfect for me. Just a couple shades darker than my skin tone. And again, I can set it with this powder to enhance it or make it a little bit darker. And then I got this a big chunky fella. You can see the two size differences. This big guy is in the shade Espresso. And this one is a twist up as well, but you can see like how big this thing is. I'm not sure how much product Okay, that's about how much product you get. That's it pushed all the way up. I'm not gonna do that too much because it's hot outside and this just got delivered, so it's a little melted, but I am gonna swallow. Okay, that might be a little bit too dark for me. <laughs> you can definitely see. I expected it to be a little bit darker, but if I apply this in dots rather than like swiping it across my face, it should blend out very nice. And I can also diffuse it with like a setting powder on top to kind of tone it down so it's not as dramatic. So those are those two little contour sticks. Then moving on, oh my gosh, I forgot an eyeshadow thing. I'm gonna go back to eyeshadow, sorry. I got this little mini palette. This was a dollar by itself. And this is the Nude Smoky Classic by Santier. I'm not sure how to exactly pronounce that, but here it is. It just is a little eyeshadow quad. And see if I can open this. 
it comes one of with one of these little eyeshadow sponges that who even uses those anymore but these shades are actually really cute there's a pink shade for a base another like nude shade and then there are a couple darker shades to create a smoky eye which is really nice yeah these ones are a little bit more chalky but they are definitely pigmented so that is good and they're blending out nice on my leg i'm just taking my finger and literally just going like this and they're actually blending out really nice so i'm excited to try that out then uh bouncing back to face stuff um i got this foundation this is in the shade oh actually excuse me this is a bb cream this is in the shade fair and again it is from aoa studio and this is a little tinted bb cream actually i haven't swatched this yet i did intentionally get one that was a couple shades darker than my normal skin tone because i do like to do a self tanner in the summer so i don't know if it'll show up on camera but it actually blended pretty well and it's pretty tinted and then i also got an eyebrow pot here this is just a aoa studio so same brand and this is the tinted brow pomade wonder brow so it just looks like so i think i just got the taupe one uh yes this is in the shade taupe so it's pretty light but I am definitely excited to try this. This is how I usually do my eyebrows is through like a pot. I've been using one from Beauty Bakery that I have been loving so much, the brownies or whatever they're called. But um, I'm excited to try one that's a little bit more affordable. So yay! Then I got a mascara and this is the Fat Lash again from AOA. And she looks like this this is what the wand looks like and i just got the black one of course and i am so excited about these because these literally literally i have not opened them so i don't know the actual quality or feeling of them i haven't worn them so i don't know i can't really compare just yet but they are 100 natural hair is what it says on here and they look almost identical to the ones that I usually get from Ardell called the Demis, as well as these ones right here that look like the Double Ups from Ardell. So I'll show you the two styles that I got. These ones have a beautiful invisible band. I absolutely love that. And then these ones are just like double stacked up, which is so cool. And these look dang near identical to the Ardell ones, which is so awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and open a pack of these right now and give you guys the tea because I know you want it. Let's see here. Yes, 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 yes. These are not, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but these are not stiff at all. They're just super flimsy. If you are new to wearing false lashes, I definitely 100% recommend getting on um, shopmissa.com, picking up like 10 pair of these lashes for 10 bucks. That is a super good deal. These are the AOA Studio um, lashes in the style Alexis. And these are so light and so easy these are just like the ardell ones but the ardell lashes are like five six seven eight dollars a pair at ulta and walmart and places like that so the fact that you can get ones that are dang near identical on a website that sells things for a dollar is freaking awesome so definitely check these out especially if you are a new false eyelash wearer these are so good. Oh my gosh, I haven't even put them on my eyes yet and I know that they're gonna be so, so, so good. Okay, moving on to lips. I got five of these liquid lipsticks from AOA Studio. As you can see, AOA Studio is killing it with the cheap makeup game here. Um, these are all just liquid lipsticks and I am a liquid lipstick fiend. Uh, so I got five shades because yeah, why not? So here are all of the shades that you can see. Very, very pretty. I'm just gonna go down the line and I will swatch all of these for you guys. So this one is in the shade Fleek. It is a pretty nude shade. Oh yeah, this one's actually really pretty. The brush is pretty flimsy and the packaging definitely isn't like 
luxury by far, but the color is actually really pretty. And I cannot critique the wearability and the length of wear and all of that stuff because I've never used these before. So it's all new to me. The next one is in the shade Extra. And this one is, ooh, this is like a deep, a deep kind of mauve berry shade in a way. Let's watch this in the most un inconvenient spot. That one is beautiful. Then the next one that we have is in the shade Tease. And that's funny because I actually have a ColourPop liquid lip in the shade Tease and I think it's almost exact. Oh, this is beautiful. I went a little whack on that swatch, but it is gorgeous. It is a deep mauve shade. Oh my gosh, can you even see this? I hope you can see this. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Get me some, cut me some slack here. I'm trying. Okay, and then two more. These are more pinky shades. This one is in the shade Roxy, and it is more, oh, it's actually beautiful. Really like that one. Can you see that one? It's beautiful. I actually like that one. I think it'll go really well with my hair. And then the last one is a much brighter pink, and this is in the shade Savage. Oh, she neon, girl. She neon. <laughs> I hate showing neons on camera because it's like they don't come through like they should on camera as much as they do in person. But there are all of the shades right there. Um, so I'm going to let those guys dry down for a minute. And while I do that, I'm going to show you guys my last items that are all just beauty tools, accessories, and stuff like that. So first and foremost, we have Ye old Traditional Beauty Sponge. She, ooh, she very soft. Actually, I'm very surprised because a lot of the cheap beauty sponges and beauty blenders and stuff, they're very stiff. But this one's actually very, very squishy and nice. Again, from AOA Studio, killing it with this cheap makeup so far. I am obsessed. So there is a little beauty sponge. And then I mentioned these earlier that I like to use these little circular sponges. So I got a pack of four of them. And these are thick boys look at them they are very very thick and I love the lavender color which is great but these are just little round sponges just look like this again four pack for a buck can't really complain and again from AOA so that is awesome and also from AOA I got a beauty sponge stand or holder and your little beauty blender egg just sits right inside of it. Obviously, once it is full of water and it will expand and actually fit in here a little bit more practically, but even if not, you could just set your little dry one in there and it is awesome. So that'll help keep it from getting messed up and dusty. So cute little beauty blender stand thing. Then I got this mask brush, again from AOA. So awesome. Uh, this is to apply face mask with and it is just like a silicone little spatula type brush and I love how cute this is it's all pink and just precious and then this is meant for like mud face masks I get face masks in PR from glam glow so I have like their super mud and things like that and those are a thick consistency that you would want a little applicator like this and I love that this is a silicone one rather than like a facial brush because then the product doesn't get lodged inside the bristles and get moldy and disgusting because sometimes even when you clean the brushes you don't you're not able to clean them thoroughly because you can't physically see all of the stuff that may be inside towards the base of the bristles that are lodged in there so having a silicone one is a lot more sanitary and I feel like it lasts a lot longer because it isn't gonna pick up a ton of the product and that's another plus this isn't gonna pick up a ton of products so all the product goes on your face instead of lodged inside the brush somewhere where you can't see it then the last thing that I got is an accessory are these scissor tweezers they are tweezers but they have a little scissor handle on them so like if you were to tweeze your brows it's a lot more comfortable to hold and do it like this rather than sit there with your arm like 
kanked all like this and hurting your wrist and all of that. So um, these are also great to put on lashes. I've never actually tried these, but I've been wanting to for a while. So these will be great to put on lashes as well. It's just so much more comfortable than holding like the other regular tweezers. And you can really be precise on how tight you're squeezing it and how not. And it's just it, it seems so much more practical to me to use tweezers this way. I don't know how like close to the skin you can get with them and stuff. They're actually pretty, pretty broad, but I don't know. It's worth giving them a shot and they were only a dollar. So why not try it like this rather than spend like 20 bucks on a pair that I don't even know if I'm going to like or not. So yes, um, that is actually everything. Here are what the lippies look like dried down. They're actually beautiful. Um, let me know what you guys' favorite item was in the comment section down below. Sorry this video was kind of long, but there was a lot of stuff to show you. Thanks so much to Shop Miss A for working with me to do this video for you guys. And I am 100% looking forward to the lashes, the liquid lips, and this hot pink blush. I think those are the three things that I am like the most excited about. And with that, I will talk to you all in my next video. Uh, you can get all this stuff at shopmissa.com. I will leave the link in the description box below. And if I can find the links to each individual product, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because there's a lot, but um, it's just shopmissa.com. Just get on there, look in the different categories. You'll see this stuff. You'll find some more stuff. But these eyelashes, girl, I cannot get over them. They do not come with glue though. So you will need to get your own glue, which is totally fine because I prefer to use Duo Lash Glue anyway that you can get at like Walgreens, CVS, Walmart. It's just Duo. Um, I think they also have an old Ulta. So uh, yeah, Duo Lash Glue. That's a good one. And yes, I am going to stop talking and I will talk to you all next time. So until then, <laughs> so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.